Hi everybody, it's me Ash and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and want to see more crafty related videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and choose your preference on how you'd like YouTube to notify you of my videos. So today I'm back because I decided to join in on Angela on her Halloween Spalooza, I think is how you say it. I, I'm pretty sure it's Spalooza. Palooza, Spalooza, one or the other. But I will leave all the information in the description box below. So Angela is having this Halloween um, um, series going on because her daughter's birthday is actually Halloween and it's one of her favorite holidays. And I decided, well, you know what? I'm going to join in. So I went to Joanne Fabrics the other day and I didn't do a haul on it because it was just the smallest haul possible I got some fabric tack I got those um, little Mickey Mouse things that were on the uh, mini album um, and I came across this really pretty Halloween paper pad which I'm going to show you in a second and another sticker set that kind of goes with it um, to do this project I was just gonna try to do it with what I had here at home, but I saw this paper pad and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And so I picked it up for this project. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have. So while I was at Joann's, I came across this beautiful Halloween paper pad and it's called Halloween Garden. And it has some really pretty, but spooky um, papers in it. And some of them are glittery, like here, there's some glittery eyeballs. Yeah. So, um, this is what's in the pad, really, so I don't have this go through, but there's glitter involved and stuff like that. And then I picked up this little packet of Halloween candy stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got to go with this project. So, I was sitting there thinking, okay, what am I going to do? I always do cards when it usually comes to this because I guess that's, like, my go-to, what I feel comfortable doing and stuff like that. And so I decided to step out of my box. I ordered this kit a while ago on Amazon and it's a um, pretty much build your own library kit. So you get the pockets that have adhesive on the back that you can stick into a book and then your library cards, you know. So I decided to use one of those for this project. And I think I'm going to attach this. Sorry, my eye itch is really bad. I think I'm going to attach this to a matchbook that I'm working on, which you will see in a later video, using the same paper pad and whatnot. So um, I use that. I use this paper pad. Um, I got this at Ollie's um, a few years back. It is a trim trying to open it to show you guys what it looks like if I can open it we'll see here how did I even get it out that's another question here we go so it is this pretty black dangly loopy trim that I used on here um, and then I did a swap last year where is that I just had it Hold on. There it is. I did a swap last year around Halloween with my friend Naomi and she had this we did a Halloween like embellishment box thing and she has these like spiders in here that I use and then I rubbished through my stuff and I found these flowers there's some orange ones some purple and stuff like that and I kind of just put it all together um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did and this is how it turned out right here. That's about it. Nothing too spectacular, but it's cute. I love that candy apple and on it, it says delicious, but deadly. And then my little, um, coffin that I put over here says ghouls gone wild. And like I said, I used some buttons and it was pretty simple pretty easy here's the tag it comes out i altered the tag i cut it down a little bit um you can still write on the back i used one of these pins and that's really 
probably just about the adjust of it. Why is it not going in? There we go. Um, I even added the paper on the back. I distressed it, but I did not do anything on the back of here in case I wanted to put it in something or on something, which I think I'm going to put it on or I might just leave it separate. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.